In this video, I'm going to show you how to transfer data files from Hobo Mobile using the iTunes program. Now, this can be done on either Windows or Macintosh. Uh, I do have iTunes open here. Now, before you plug in your device, I recommend going up to the Preferences and then clicking on the Device Preferences. What you want to make sure is that this box here is checked. Um, we transfer data a little differently as opposed to the traditional uh, syncing mechanism. So uh, we'll go ahead and hit OK so our device does not begin syncing automatically. And then from here, I have my iPhone plugged in in this case. I'll go ahead and click on it. And then we click on the apps. And from here, what you're going to want to do is scroll down. And down at the bottom here, you'll see this file sharing section. And what we're going to want to do is click on the Hobo Mobile section. Now you have a couple uh, folders that come up here, but it actually doesn't contain your data yet. What you now need to do is go into the Hobo Mobile program and tap on Data Files. Now the upper right will go ahead and hit uh, Select. I can scroll down and tap the files that, uh, that I want to transfer over. Now in this particular case, uh, it shows the first 10, but I also, as you can see here, I have 45 files uh, on my device here. So this is a quick way to be able to transfer all these, but for this demonstration, I'll just uh, transfer nine of these files. So at the bottom, uh, we hit share, and then it's going to give you your different file types. Uh, in this case, I'm going to select the, te the text, and what's going to happen is it's going to start generating text files. Now, as these get complete, you'll see these show up over here in iTunes. Now, many of these files barely had any data in it, and that's why it went so quickly here. Um, let me just expand iTunes, so it'll show you the, the Save To button here at the bottom. Uh, so basically, I am going to select all the text files that I just converted, and then I'm going to hit Save To. And I have a folder here uh, on my desktop called Hobo Mobile where I am going to save these files to. We'll just flip over and uh, we have these sorted here by uh, CSV, XLS, and text. So these are the files here that I just saved. Um, now from here, uh, we come back over and let's say we wanted to share the Hoboware files as well. So back in Hobo Mobile, I'll hit done twice which brings me back to the data files scene. And as you'll see here, now all the text files are gone. Uh, again, we'll hit select. And this time I'll hit all. And then hit share. Now the Hoboware files, they're pretty small and they transfer pretty quickly. So we'll go ahead and tap that. And then over here in iTunes, as you'll see, all of these files then show up. So I have uh, 45 files here. Uh, that I'm going to go ahead and share. And we'll do save to. In this case, I'll just create a new folder. We'll go ahead and save those there. And we'll go to this new folder here. And as you can see, I now have all 45 of my Hoboware files uh, that can be opened up in Hoboware or Hoboware Pro. Now again, to make these files disappear uh, in iTunes, we're going to come back over here to Hobo Mobile. I'll hit Cancel and I'll hit Done. And as you'll see here in a second, all of these files disappear. So this is a quick way to share a lot of data files from your mobile device to your desktop computer using the iTunes program.